this, this is a 30 pound chainmail shirt made out of steel and I wore it for eight days. I am a warrior. Recently, I was on the film set for Basic Adventuring 101. It's a web series that I created that is all about live action role play or LARP. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am a LARPer. I play a character in this web series that wears chain mail and I, I, I 30 pounds on your body for even a small amount of time is a lot of weight. But it got me wondering about chainmail in history. Why did people wear it? Was it really that heavy? So I did a little bit of digging and found some really neat stuff. Chainmail is thought to have been created over 2,500 years ago. And it was used by most soldiers who could afford it up until the 1300s when plate mail started to replace it. Now it didn't replace it entirely. Chain mail was created so that the wearer still had a lot of flexibility while uh, also protecting them from getting slashed or pierced by weapons. So chain mail was still very useful, especially for joints that had to move around a lot. So like your elbows or on your neck. The other thing about chain mail is that it wasn't very good about protecting the wearer from blunt attacks. So if somebody were coming at you with a mace, it's still very likely that you're going to end up with fractures or even breaks, bruises. So after the 1400s, 1500s, um, chainmail was still used, but it was, it was really more of a supplemental type of armor. What I also found very interesting is that over the ages, people have tried to use chainmail for other means. They also used it during World War I uh, as something that went around uh, soldiers' helmets to try to protect them from shrapnel. Except the soldiers didn't really like wearing it. And chainmail is still used in some ways today. Like uh, a woodcarper might use it to help protect them against the knives that they work with. Nowhere, however, did I find anything about the weight of the chainmail and how much it would have weighed to wear one of these shirts, especially during like the 1300s when people were wearing uh, longer versions that would go down to like their knees. So if anyone knows that bit of information, definitely let me know. It would be really interesting if I would wear a 30 pound chainmail shirt while trying to do the thousand cuts. When I take the shirt off, I'll be like the Flash. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna start the thousand hits, cuts, whatever, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's go. Oh, I hate this already. Huh. Oh, I hate this shirt. Oh, I hate this shirt. I wanna melt it. I'm gonna melt it in a giant fire. Throw it. Throw it into a volcano and watch it melt. Okay. I can do it. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I got this. I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. Okay. So, I made it to a thousand. I had to take a lot of breaks. So, I don't think it really counts, but it's, I mean, it sort of counts. It counts. So, make sure to like and subscribe and to comment down below. I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye. Oh, I need to go lay down. Now.